This is Dr. Green with Momentum Chiropractic, and today we're gonna to go over an exercise that we commonly use for tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. Um, this is an isometric exercise for the wrist extensors, meaning the muscles that help to extend our wrist. So what we're gonna do is we typically use a band for this, um, especially one that has loops so we can easily grab it. It doesn't need to have loops, and if anything, you can use like a really light dumbbell. But the goal is, having some ability to vary the tension here is gonna be really important. So what we're gonna do with the band is we're gonna place it underneath our foot. We're gonna rest our forearm on the knee and we're gonna keep our elbow bent just for this exercise. If we have it fully extended, it's gonna be a little bit more intense of an exercise. So just to start out, we like to keep it a little bit flexed there, take the shoulder out of the equation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab on and then we're gonna allow ourselves to go into a slight bit of extension, not full extension, but a relatively neutral position. We also wanna make sure that the palm is faced down. It doesn't have to be actively rotated in like that. Otherwise, it starts to work that pronator muscle a little bit too much. At the same time, we wanna make sure that the thumb isn't up because that's working the wrong muscle. That's the brachioradialis instead. So when we find that neutral position, we should feel it within that range. There might be a little bit of pain at the elbow, but you'll notice on reps two or three, that pain should start to go down. In terms of the tension on the band or the weight, it should be something that we're able to hold for about 25 to 30 seconds and then letting it relax. And remember, this is an isometric exercise, meaning that we're holding that position and getting that muscle to work, minimal pain at the elbow and not too much extension in the wrist.